Welcome to Starfield and the guide on how to build the perfect outpost. Because we show you step by step how to build an outpost with the four most important basic materials in one place, how to build it into a massive farm and how to generate not only a lot of skill points but also raw materials. For this we travel to the Basalt system which is located above the Soul system. And there we are looking for Basel 3b. And at this point important note, always save before a first landing, otherwise your map will be floated with different landing points and will not be able to choose the landing point exactly. Because for the perfect outpost we can't just build anywhere, but we need the perfect spot. And there is exactly one place. You will find a striking area relatively quickly, but the exact location is a bit more difficult to find. Therefore, it is all the more important to save beforehand, because we cannot reset the point as soon as we have a landing point. Because in this area we have to hit a mountain range, directly next to it a stone desert and below a hill field. And don't worry, that sounds more complicated than it is. Because we show you the point again in the close-up. However, you will definitely have to land on a mountain range. And so close that you would easily get a stone desert on the left. Therefore, slowly move a little bit to the right until you reach the first mountain range. And already at the landing you can see if you are right, because the landing point looks exactly like this. You land on an orange-red plateau and see a black or very dark mountain right next to it. In front of it a plane and here we are right. And yes, this landing point is reproducible and you can find it. If necessary, simply reload and try to select the landing point again. We then place our outpost at the foot of the mountain, where we have to walk or fly a few steps. With the F key you can call your scanner and with the R key you can activate an outpost bar, which shows you which raw materials are available in the area. And since we need iron, aluminum, nickel and cobalt for production, we also need all four resources in one place. You can find the exact position here. And with that you can then check with the setting of the outpost bar whether the respective resources are also sufficiently available. Otherwise we move these outposts again. And don't worry, you can tear off the outpost bar at any time and place it again, which we will see again in a moment. If you have placed the outpost, you can switch the view with the V key in the building menu and select the different extractors. Here we don't have enough space for iron, so we will move our outpost area again. Because the goal is of course to have all four resources in one area. So we remember where we need a little more space and remove the bar with the R key to place it a few meters further in the right direction again. Because with that we simply move our outpost boundaries piece by piece so that we have enough space and accommodate everything. Because at our outpost location we have all the basic materials to gradually expand our base. Therefore, for the beginning we only need 44 aluminum, 10 tungsten, 20 iron, 12 nickel, 8 cobalt and 2 fibers. With this we each build an extractor, the suitable wind turbines for energy supply as well as an industrial workbench on which we can make adaptive frames with the locally available materials, which are necessary for most buildings. Because at the beginning we only need extractors, energy supply and a small production possibility. For the energy supply we rely on turbines where you only have to place as many as you have extractors. We have already arranged the whole thing a little bigger, so don't worry, your materials will be enough. And after the energy supply is secured, we only need the industrial workbench and a bed. Because for our crafting, Basel 3B offers a very positive time conversion. If we sleep here for an hour, it is almost 60 hours of universal time and the production is oriented towards the universal time. This means that we only sleep for an hour, but our extractors have worked for 60 hours and so we have very quickly exhausted our current storage capabilities. And here we can craft adaptive frames, which we also need for the further construction. 
And in addition, we have all the materials on site to build more wind turbines, extractors and storages. This increases the possibility of storage capacity enormously, whereby we recommend that you create four separate storage container sections. How you place them is up to you, but we recommend that you stack them high, because this way we definitely have enough space and it will be easier to link later. And here's a tip. With the right and left mouse button, you can click through the different positions and by slightly changing the camera angle, you have the option of building quite quickly upwards. The available storage capacities are only limited by how much you want to build. And if you run out of material on the way, you have enough material to continue building. You only need to sleep an hour. Make sure that you also build solid-state containers as storage containers, because our extractors cannot catch anything with liquids or gas. Once we have built four storage towers, we can now link them with the extractors. To do this, we select the corresponding extractor and set a link to the top box. And we repeat this for all extractors of the same type to the same storage box. That means the iron extractors with one area, the cobalt with the other, aluminum with the third and so on. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, you don't have to rebuild the storage towers. You can simply tear off the respective extractor, replace it and this also link it again. And of course you can add new ones at any time with a further expansion of your base. This applies to storage possibilities as well as to extractors. However, it is definitely sufficient if you have 3 to 4 extractors for each material. Then we only have to link the individual storage containers with each other. To do this, it is advisable to use the direct perspective, as we have difficulties in choosing the right container from a top view. Here we start from top to bottom and select one after the other container and set the link. This is how the material runs from top to bottom and the storage containers fill up one after the other. And in this way you also have the possibility to send the material that you produce here with a freight link to another outpost. But we'll show you that in another video. We first focus on mass production of basic resources. Because this means that you have laid the foundation for further outposts without having to look at resources or having to think about where you can buy some more material. After we have linked all the containers together, we are also ready to start crafting. To do this, we simply sleep in our bed on site for a few hours, which is a clearly positive conversion in working hours for our collectors and our material storage. And another tip for crafting. If you are crafting adaptive frames or magnets, you can leave your mouse directly at the 99 and simply use a click and a confirm with the E key to craft a lot very quickly without falling asleep. This way you can craft thousands of resources within a few seconds. And of course collect a lot of experience points very quickly. And another tip. Make sure to have slept at least one hour before each crafting round because then you will receive a 10% XP bonus or 15% if you have a companion in an active relationship. And thanks to the availability of Nickel and Cobalt, we can not only craft adaptive frames, but also isometric magnets. These offer a little more experience points. And of course, you can sell these masses of materials. However, it is not really worth transporting them extra. Therefore, you can simply throw them somewhere on the ground. This way, you will reach your desired level quite quickly, whereby we stop crafting at level 100 at some point. And another outpost tip. As soon as you have built a landing site with shipbuilders, you can bring your ship that has landed somewhere directly in front of you. Simply go to your shipbuilder and set a home ship. You can then reset that again. However, this is also on the landing pad so you can call any ship in your inventory. And in the next guide, we will show you some speed leveling of skills directly at this outpost. See you soon!